While there are many outside factors that can affect the success or failure of your startup, there is one thing for sure that you can control that can help you, and that's your network. Your network can help you find not only key employees, but also board members and even investors that will help you succeed. With so much potential value stored in your network, there is no reason for you to not have the biggest and best network. First and foremost, though, is to avoid being that networking jerk. This is the primary rule of networking. I remember this one time I was at a networking event, and I noticed this guy going around the room and introducing himself to everyone. He would maybe talk to someone for only a few minutes before he would move on to someone else. At one point, he even circled back and reintroduced himself to someone he already met. This is not networking. In the end, this guy ended up with no real connections, and he would have done a lot better if he just stayed with one person for the entire event and had a meaningful conversation. So after you learn to stay with one person and you exchange business cards, what's next? Well, if you want to include this person in your network, the most important thing to do is to follow up. Shoot the person a quick email thanking them for their time, or maybe asking them if they'd like to grab a quick coffee to talk again. This step is especially important if you would like to do business with this person. One of the best ways to follow up with new contacts is to invite them out for a meal. Hence, you never want to eat alone. But networking is more than just sharing meals. It's sharing your life. Keith explains that the best networkers include others in their lives as much as possible. Whether that's inviting your new friends to the latest show in town, bringing them on your next fishing trip, or even challenging them in a golf tournament, the important thing is to welcome them into your life so that they become more than just a business card. Finally, after you've become a master networker, it can be difficult to continuously expand your network. But at that time, you'll be smart enough and skilled enough to network with the right people. Your fastest way of growing your network will be to network with other expert networkers. By doing this, you'll be growing your network to include all of their connections. Remember though, that networking is also a two-way street, so all of your connections will also become their connections. But the most important thing to remember when you are networking is that networking is about building relationships. And since relationships take time, it's best to start today so you're ready for the challenges you face tomorrow.